on from where we left off we're going to just add a couple more effects in to show you other options that you have and how blend modes can really help to make something very strong so we've got this set up at the moment but you look under those effects so video effects generate you'll find that you've got one that says lens flare now I'm going to add the lens flare to the boat itself when I let go of that you'll see that a lens flare is added to the scene and if I select that video layer you'll see there's the lens flare effect under the video controls or the effects controls click on the word lens flare and I've got options to get hold of its center point and pull it to where I want it to be now I can animate this over time so if I want to animate it from one side of the shot to the other as time goes by I can click the flare center then go to the end of my shot and then literally drag it across to the other side so it finishes over there and then as we play the shot through you'll see that that lens flare is almost like a sun that's moving across so you do have lens flares and you can use lens flares and add them to your scene without any problems whatsoever and you can see that the center point is there is moving you can even change the type of lens flare so you can decide whether it's going to be a 35mm prime or whether it's going to be a 105 just giving different results each time and you can see it's blending in even with that four color gradient that we put underneath now I'm going to get rid of the items underneath so I'm going to choose that black video which has got this four color gradient effect select it and get rid of it because what I want to show you how to do is to create a ramp just going to turn the opacity of this layer back up to 100% there's my black video at the moment I've got a blend mode on my top layer which is seeing through so if I just select my video here you'll see that I've still got multiply which is why I can see black if I went back to normal all I'd be able to see is that layer with its lens flare I'm going to turn that layer off and select the black video now I'm going to add a ramp ramps can be really valuable for creating things so grab hold of ramp and drop it onto the black video at the moment it's a linear ramp black at the top white at the bottom but I can change that by going in here and selecting the color swatch and say well okay let's start at red let's just do an extreme version for examples and we want to finish on let's say cyan or blue dark blue there we go so there we go we've got a ramp we can even decide where it starts and stops so we can pull it further down or further up depending on how we want to start the ramp and finish the ramp I'm just going to take that back to zero so there's a ramp and we can use that to colorize our boring clip so if you remember the clip is fairly boring it's just the ship and it's not particularly interesting or the boat not particularly interesting but what we can do again is we can add a blend mode to that layer so select the layer go to the blend modes let's try and multiply again and all of a sudden it's beginning to look quite interesting obviously that's massively overdone how do we reduce the impact of that we go back to the black video layer and we take its opacity right down so I'm going to take its opacity to there's 27 percent there's 36 percent and now we've got something that's really beginning to look quite stylized and quite interesting simply by creating a ramp underneath and using a simple blend mode to change how it looks now there are other ones you need to go back onto the boat layer the moment we've got multiply you could look at screen which brightens everything up rather or you can look at overlay which is quite a common one or maybe soft light you need to play through these and see what you think is going to work best for the result that you're looking for but all I've done is I've created black video I've added a ramp to the black video I've changed the start and stop of the ramp and then on the top layer I chose a blend mode this time I've got soft light and because it was so powerful I had to go back to the black video because it was originally at 100% which looked like that and I said that's far too much so I just pulled it down to 36% or thereabouts to give me a soft gentle colorization a stylized look if you will by just using a blend mode so that I can see through the top layer which is multiplying pixels together but obviously these pixels are a much lower percentage than their original so that's using a ramp and that's using a lens flare on our footage there are lots of other things that you can create including something called a cell pattern now a cell pattern can help your footage to look interesting when it's very boring so I don't have an example here but say you've got a talking head say you've got somebody in a room or you're filming a, a lecture of some sort 
and it's just boring somebody standing there talking and you want to create something underneath that's almost not there but is there enough to be able to get a little bit of interest let me show you what you can do so I'm going to select this black video layer and I'm going to turn the eyeball off for the top layer and I'm going to turn the opacity up for the black video up to 100% and delete the ramp and this time I'm going to add in the cell pattern so take the cell pattern drop it on the black video now it looks like my opacity is animated so I don't want my opacity to be animated on this black video so I'm just going to turn opacity off keyframes do I want to continue yes I do so my opacity is not going to be animated it's just set now cell patterns look a bit weird to start off with and you can change how they look we've got all kinds of options we've got bubbles and crystals and plates so crystals look like that and plates look like that so I'm just going to stick with bubbles at the moment and we can even invert them we can change the contrast I am actually going to increase the contrast quite a bit so I've got some nice black around them and we can change the way that they overflow that's one side to the next or the way they go over each other those are just different methods we'll leave those we can disperse them which means they're not so close together if you take this to zero you'll see that it's completely uniform if you take it up to one and a half I think is the maximum it goes to you can see that they disperse quite nicely we can change the size in fact I want to make them quite a lot bigger okay and we can offset them which basically means just move them around until you find a, a look that sort of suits you I'm just dragging them through to offset them to find something that looks good and we can tile them and we'll come to evolution in a second so we've created this and what we want it to do is we want it to sit underneath our video and actually we'd like it to be moving but hardly noticeable just to give it a little bit more life because at the moment it's not got an awful lot of life so what we can do is we can animate it using this thing called an evolution and if you untwirl evolution you see you've got a little angle switch and we can go through past 360 degrees take that back to zero at the moment and what we want to is have these items move over time so if I pull them you'll see that they start to move over time okay so they will move as I start to pull that through so I want this to evolve I want it to move over time so I'm going to click the stopwatch at the beginning I'm going to go to the end of my clip and that's what that's quite a few seconds that's 54 seconds so I want these all to have moved around say five times five complete evolutions so what I need to do is click and drag and keep dragging until I get five and zero degrees three four five say five and zero so five and and I want it to be absolutely five and zero because if you want to do a proper evolution you need them to be complete revolutions now if I take that back to the beginning and hit the space bar you'll see that these are moving just subtly and gently moving even this might be too fast you might want to have it even less than this so maybe only two complete revolutions I'm just doing this for an example okay so they are moving underneath if ever by the way you want to cycle an evolution make sure that you've got from zero to a complete number and you can open up evolution options and click cycle evolution and it will cycle evolution when it gets to the end it will come back and start again seamlessly okay so we've got this moving item underneath and what I want to do now is I want to turn the video layer on above and at the moment we can't see anything so I'm going to select this video layer and I'm going to see I've got soft light let's say let's take it to multiply for the moment and obviously all I can see pretty much are these items underneath in fact let's take it back to soft light I think maybe overlay or soft light maybe overlay yeah overlay is quite a nice one so what we can do is we can turn the opacity for the black video cells right down so I'm going to take that opacity right down to say 15% 14% and now when I hit the space bar there's something gently moving underneath now this is too much even with this in fact let's try a different blend mode let's select this and choose select the video layer and rather than overlay let's try this time let's try a lightning one let's try screen yeah screen's going to give us actually probably a better look so they are actually there they are actually gently moving underneath you can only just see them but they're beginning to give a little bit of interest to what's going on underneath you can hardly see it but it is definitely moving if I turn the opacity for the cells up just a bit you'll see what I mean if I turn them up say to 70 odd percent you'll see that they are moving underneath 
So it's gently moving. Now if I take that right back down to just 12-15%, something really small, what you've got is a little bit of almost unseen movement underneath, which gives a bit more interest to what people are watching. Even 15% might be too much. I'm going to take that down to, say, 9%. And then just hit the space bar. And when you haven't got something that's really interesting going on, this can be a tremendous solution just to give a little bit more interest because the eye is drawn to movement. So if you've created movement underneath, you've created something that can look really quite good. Now in the next tutorial, we're going to look at blend modes as they are used quite often in Premiere Pro, which is to create what's called the filmic blend, which is a way of blending the same layer together multiple times to make video look a lot more like film.